Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out patterned paper using the Brother Scan and Cut. The pattern paper we'll be using is from the 2019 Occasions Catalog by Stampin' Up. It's called Happiness Blooms Designer Series Paper. This is the sheet we'll be cutting out, so let's get started right away doing that. And then while it's cutting, I'm going to show you the other sheets in this stack. Okay, and then I will also show you how to cut out some other papers and some tricks that I learned along the way. Okay, let me move this paper away. And I'm only going to show you the back of this one because we're going to be cutting it so you won't get to see the back otherwise. Okay, this is the back of that. Just absolutely beautiful. But as you can see, the flowers are not fully connected. So I chose not, not to even attempt to cut out this side because I would have had to draw a lot of pencil marks. Instead, I went right for this side and I came out with some great embellishments. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you eight projects I created using embellishments that I cut out from the Happiness Blooms. And you will get to see how I use those embellishments on my projects. Okay, so let's move the machine out of the way and just show you that I'm only just attaching the paper. That's all I'm doing. I'm using my brayer. This is my brother. I'll have a link in the description. So here's a little brayer. It helps. It's really helping to make the paper stick better because when you scan, you never want to cover up these registration marks on your mat. See, it just flipped right up. The mats are not very sticky, but the brayer helps a little. You don't want to cover up the registration marks because it needs it to scan. Now, after that, I'll be using some, you know, painter's tape to hold it down while it actually cuts. But for now, for it to scan, I need it to also stay sturdy. All right, then I'm going to put my paper into the brother like that. So I'm using the CM350 or the Brother Scan and Cut 2. Okay, so if you don't already have one of these, I'll have a link in the description of the model I'm using. And I know a lot of my crafty friends have new ones they got for Christmas, so I'm doing a lot of beginner tutorials for that exact fact. All right, so here we are. We, when you turn on this machine, you're going to see pattern and you're going to see scan. Okay, we're going to scan. That's the one we want. Because we're going to directly cut out the images, Okay, of this paper I'm showing you, we want direct cut. We're not saving anything. That's why we want direct cut. Where are we going to temporarily store this data? On the machine. Okay, on the machine. Because there's good contrast between the foreground and the background of this paper, we just need to stay in recognition mode, the, gr the grayscale recognition mode. Because you never waste time on color. It takes a lot longer. Unless you don't have a lot of contrast. So leave it at black and white recognition mode okay and I also need to now just uh, load the paper load the mat and while it, when I press that load the mat I always hold my hand on the on the mat because I don't want the paper to go in crookedly okay so or is crookedly a word crooked I don't want the paper to be crooked it's scanning and it's recognizing so that's what it's doing now at this point, I'm allowed to use my painter's tape to stick my images, I mean stick my paper on the mat because it's done doing its scanning bit because you did, I didn't, and now I can cover up those registration marks if I want. All right, so we're going to say okay, see how it did. Wow, what a great job, right? So first of all, you'll notice that, we may not notice, maybe I need to zoom in for you to really notice this, but in that paper, there, was, there were little um, yellow dots all over the paper. I chose not to cut them out because they're just yellow dots, and if I was to make yellow dots, I would just as soon punch them out with my punch. Okay, let me zoom in. I don't want to bother cutting out these yellow dots, okay? There's no reason to, and, and plus it'll take a while. Okay, so let's go back up. All right, so there we have it. Um, I'm only, because of the time, you know, I don't want you to sit here for 15 minutes while I, or 10 minutes. I'm just going to select a certain area. Just to, we'll just select a little area to cut out, only because of time. But really, you would cut out the whole sheet of paper. You know, because while you're at it, you just cut out the whole sheet of paper. All right, so we're, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to ignore object size. Go here to the ignore object size. And we're going to get rid of those yellow dots, OK? Just as you, as you increase the ignore object size, you will see the yellow dots disappear. Just for good measure, I want to get rid of the middle of that one flower that's not fully selected as well. All right, and that's okay. And if I, I want to get rid of this other flower in the middle, but I'll do that in the editing mode. We're going to say okay. I always like to put an outline distance of 
0 0.04 around my, okay, so here's my, um, the one, you know, when I cut out. <clears throat> it selects up to the white. It selects like the edge of this flower will be white because that's the edge of the contrast. I like a little bit into the, going into the green part. I like that little bit of an outline distance. You can even go one step higher if you want. That one looks good too when I tried it, but I, I think just 0 0.04, 0 0.04 outline distance is good. And we're gonna say okay. And then we're going to just edit out these, these partial flowers because if not, they're gonna cut just the middle. So let's go into this editing mode. The, the editing mode is just this mode here with the little um, shapes in it. And by the way, the machine does come with a stylus, but as I get ready for video tutorials, all my table gets covered and the stylus is, is buried. So that's why I'm not using it right now. So there is um, a little, one of the flowers I wanna get rid of because it's a partial flower. So we're gonna trash that. We're gonna say, okay. The other one I wanna trash up here is that partial flower. And I'm gonna say trash. And if you wanna just select, if you wanna say, say okay to trash it, if you wanna see what's selected, you can just toggle around this editing screen to see all the ones that are selected and which ones are gonna cut. This is good because this is a good amount to cut because in the time it'll cut this, I will be able to show you the other papers in this, in this um, happiness bloom you know, stack. So that's kind of good. I like, so even though it's loud and you know, we have to wait for it, I get to do other things while we're waiting. I never like to waste time of my viewers. All right, so here we, here we have it. I just need to show you one more thing. I'm using a standard blade depth of, okay, so for designer series paper, I use a standard blade depth of three. Okay, that's when I cut out designer series paper. So this is the brother, it comes with the machine. This is the standard blade holder, it's standard blade depth of three. And for Whisper White, like another cardstock I use, I use a four or five for that. And for then for real cardstock, like heavy cardstock, I use a, like a six. I mean, I'm sorry, a five or a six. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that cut button. And then we'll move the machine out of the way while it does that. And we're gonna say start, it's gonna take two minutes. Okay, so I have two minutes. Move that. It's just cutting out the pattern paper. We'll move that away. Remember I told you I put a little piece of painter's tape there to hold it in place. And I'm even just going to stick in one more piece on the other side. I don't like this stuff to slip away. I don't like the paper to slip. All right, so here's our stack. The happiness bloom is just awesome. Okay, I didn't try to cut this piece because of the separation in the flower. Um, when you have separate, these would all cut out as separate images you know, on this, on this piece. I just know that from experience. I don't even have to even try to cut out that piece. Sometimes you want to cut out something anyway and you try it anyway. And then the back, super cute pattern. I'll tell you about the coordinating colors in just a minute. I like this one. It kind of looks like a Hawaiian luau, okay? And when we get into the troubleshooting part, I'll tell you about that piece of paper and how I did attempt to cut it out, okay? This one, major, major success. Okay, it took 20 minutes to cut out these shapes, but it was a major success, like almost 100% success in everything on this sheet that cut out, and I'm gonna get to show you what I made from it. And there's the back. This one, great job on these big flowers, these big yellow flowers, not so much with the other color flowers because there's not as much contrast. And there's the back. Okay, and then here's this piece of paper. I didn't try to cut this out because they're too close together, it, but it makes a great background. And there's the back. Again, I didn't wanna cut these, they would have cut just fine, but I love this background, so I didn't want to mess with it. All right, so we're ready. You've seen all papers in this Happiness Bloom stack. I'll show you other projects in our catalog in just a, you know, a little while. Okay, so stay tuned. We have more stuff, to, lots more to cover. It says we're finished cutting. We say okay. We, now we unload the mat. Now, so let's just unload the mat and put that button. When unloading the mat, okay, blah, 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 yes. You're gonna say okay to continue, even though the mat may shift, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter, we're not doing anything else with this. We're not saving those, remember? All right, because the mats are not really sticky, they, you know, these will just pop right off. See, they just pop right off. I could use my spatula that came with it. In fact, I probably know where that is, but it doesn't matter because these pop right off of the mat. Okay, so you bend the mat a little bit and here are your, here are your images, okay? So this is, this is how to scan pattern paper. It's that simple. This was a blade depth of three, an outline distance of 0 0.04, and you know the big ones came out. We ignored the object size because we didn't care about these little yellow dots, but if you want the little yellow dots, it'll surely cut them out for you. I don't really know what you'd do with them that you couldn't do with a hole punch, but 
know, some, sometimes things aren't really worth the wait, but in this case, these are just fantastic. All right, so let me take out my plate of embellishments. So I go to workshops and I absolutely bring my plate of embellishments. Well, I put them in a bag and then when I get there, I spread them out in these trays because I let my, I let my students just embellish away when they make cards. You know, they have the paper and they have pre-cut pieces, but then they can just go to town. All right, so here's, here's another, I cut the other piece of paper. Great success, almost every flower cut out. And then I ignore the, you know, when, it, when all the flowers don't cut out, like I would ignore the partial flowers and I would do a hole punch with them. So let me show you what that does. So you just take a hole punch and when your flower doesn't cut out of the way and you just, you can punch it out the mat that way. All right, and then um, I told you I had like 100% success rate with this, with this sheet here. Let me find the sheet. Okay, let me put these down because I don't want to keep shaking. I just want to spread them out so you can kind of see the different ones. All right, so here, for this paper here, okay, I scanned it in. Everything got recognized. It's incredible. Not these little tiny dots, but I didn't want them anyway. The little dots on, on the front of the flower, so they just, you just get the flower itself. Okay, you have every one of these little flowers got recognized. I mean, it was, it was just like, wow, cool. Okay, but here's what happened. It took 20 minutes to cut out. Okay, this sheet of paper took 20 minutes to cut out. And in the process of cutting out, this is what happened. And this has happened to me before with long cuts. So the, the machine vibrated so much. It went, and the blade depth just kept going down and down and down and down. And by the time the 20 minutes was up, it was on a blade depth of one. So it only, so about half the images cut out. So I literally had to, because when it got to one, it was cutting them out, but the blade wasn't, See the blade's not sticking out of the bottom. It wasn't touching the paper. So all you need to do for troubleshooting that is just you know stop and start your machine. Stop your machine, put your blade depth back up to three. So watch your blade depth every once in a while. You know after about five ten minutes, see where it's at. If it starts vibrating and moves, turn it back to three and then press start again. Literally, you're just pressing stop and start because it will not like it'll it'll pick up where it left off. So I, you know I had to do that because I had already scanned. So I wanted it to cut the exact same part. Okay, now for this one, for this paper, I had great success with all these yellow ones. They came out great. This is a point zero four outline distance. And then some of these came out great too. These came out pretty, they came out pretty good. Almost, you know, uh, every other one of these. Okay, so I love them and I, I, love what, I love what I did with them. But, you know, you might have to use color recognition mode to get, to get all of the rest of them to show up. You know, you just never know. You just have to play around with it. Okay, now for this one, I thought, oh, I'll just trick the machine like I always do with my brother's scan and cut, and I will fill in these pencil marks. And it still didn't work, just so you know. I, I tried like making these flowers complete, and the pencil marks did not trick it to thinking this was a full flower. Maybe because the, the, um, you know, there's not a lot of contrast between this and the background. But, it, but I did some great things with them nonetheless, so it doesn't matter, because I still made great things with all these papers. All right, so now I'm at the point of the video like I always do, I always show you, well, after you cut out things with your brother's can and cut, I wanna show you what you can do with those things because there's no reason spending all this time and work and effort cutting out all these incredible embellishments if you're not going to use them. Okay, so your first thing I always do when I check the back of the paper is I say, what are the coordinating colors? And then I go from there. So I have, okay, the coordinating colors of this designer series paper is our lovely lipstick. Okay, uh, Call Me Clover. Knight of Navy, Pineapple Punch, and Calypso Coral. And for Calypso Coral, I haven't bought the new stamp pad yet because until my stamp pads go bad, I mean, I usually don't upgrade, but these new ones are in color, so I bought this, you know, these new ones, except for Knight of Navy. I bought a new one because it came with a different set. But here are my colors, and it doesn't matter what stamp pad you're using, but because the Stampin' Up colors are gonna coordinate. This is just really awesome. Okay, so these are the coordinating colors. And, you know, at first when I saw this paper, I'm like, hmm, this looks like, you know, flower power, like hippie child, you know. <laughs> but then as I, was, as I was working with it, I'm like, this is pretty, pretty darn cool. All right, I just dropped something on the ground. Okay, first little project is this little card that um, uses something from our celebration catalog. Okay, it's a free stamp set. Let me find the catalogs here. If you'd like, uh, if you'd like a set of catalogs, you know, please use my contact information form on, in the link below. So here's our celebration. Every time you spend $50, $50 or more on Stampin' Up! products, you get something free in this, in this little book. 
or some, some items take $100 to get to, but most take 50. So this is the free stamp set you can get. Okay, so free with any $50 purchase. Is he cute or what? And, and the color's coordinated, so I just like, I colored him in, and I usually have him on a little bobble, but I, love, I loved how I can use the little flowers you know, that I cut out with the Brother Scan and Cut on this card. All right, let me, let me reach down to the ground. Okay, so what I'm using for this card and for this card, so this card here, this was, was very plain. I had these, I had these um, coordinating products that go with the Happiness Bloom set. I'm gonna show you that. And this, is, this was already pre-printed on there. So let me show you what I mean because it's, so here's my occasions catalog. So glad I can show you the inside. So this is called the Happiness Bloom Suite. I'm gonna show you what Stampin' Up! has done with it. I just love what they've done with it. So that's what attracted me to this paper. Plus, I've been using Brother Scan and Cut for years, so I say, oh, can I cut out that paper? I'm always asking myself, can I cut out that paper? Um, so here's the paper, the designer series paper. Now on the back, this is one of those suites that just keep going. And on the back of this, there's memories and more, meaning some people do planning. I don't do planners and scrapbooks too much, but I do uh, make cards. So I love when I can buy these little card packs, ready-made card packs. Okay, happiness, blooms, memories and more cards and envelopes. So you get 20, you get 10 big ones and 10 small ones and 20 envelopes. And I bring them to my classes and I'm like, giving out these cards, here are the cards to go with the little envelopes. And I just say, I just let everybody design their own card. Like no, no two cards are like, I've put a lot of cards on my YouTube videos that my students make. And you'll see that no two cards are ever like, okay, so you give them you know, a blank card, it's pre-scored, matching envelope. And then they pick from these, so the, these cards here, which I have. And these little card packs come with stickers. Okay, they come with stickers. Four sheets of stickers and it's sentiments and they come with these little cards here's some one of the stamp sentiments I print. okay so they come with these little I'm not going to show you every single one because I have done other videos on this suite but you know you can get the idea oh, there's some more stickers okay and some more sentiments there's there's the happy birthday see how plain that was so here let me just compare that here plain you get the cards and you're like you could make a card out of that that's really cute but then look what happens when you put all the things that you cut out with your brother scan and cut. I like to work in groups of threes, by the way, these little flowers. And I just pop them up with, this is a sticker and all these are cut out with the brother scan and cut. I like to pop them up with some dimensionals. And then some of these papers, I need to show you this. Crafty friends, look at this. I haven't even played with these real shiny ones yet. Aren't they cool? Really some, some like specialty papers inside the pack. And there's another card I just started. So I'd definitely be putting embellishments on there. All right, so those are, those are two more products from our occasions catalog right here you know they're called the happiness blooms memories and more card pack i'll have a link to the items i used in the description all right ready for this i had i used this stamp set here let me find this here's incredible like you here it is new stamp set in the occasions catalog it's one of those two-step stamping sets where you can you know stamp the flower stamp the inside of the flower but i used it in a different way i used the sentiments from this stamp set with the Happiness Blooms paper, and here's what I came up with. I came up with several card designs and a bookmark. Okay, so here's one. Again, just, um, there's the sentiment, Knight of Navy, circle punches, different, just a uh, designer series paper, and there are the embellishments in a group of three from the Brother Scan and Cut. Okay, and let's do another one. This is um, the little leaf from the stamp set. I, I used this little leaf here. And I stamped that in Call Me Clover, which was one of the coordinating colors I talked about. Little three, group of three, three little embellishments. This is just designer series paper and some layering. And by the way, I cut every single thing out with my brother scan and cut now. I mean, I hardly even use my paper trimmers, although I have like maybe 10 of them. <laughs> I'm kind of a paper trimmer hoarder, but there I, I usually use the brother scan and cut now to cut my matting and my, my little pieces and my layering, the layers, because it just does it so accurately and I don't have to think. Okay, and then here's another one. This is that same, you know, same incredible like you stamp set. So hope your day is amazing, is as amazing as you. Okay, and again, three little flowers from the Brother Scan and Cut, some layering going on. And this is a Calypso Coral, by the way, this, this paper. It's called Calypso Coral. That's the cardstock I'm using. And then I said I'd show you a bookmark. Okay, so this is the Knight of Navy ribbon I had and I, I use maybe a, a six here, six embellishments, six little flowers. I don't even know where I learned about using things in groups of three. I don't remember that, but that I just that's what I tend to do. 
okay and hope your day is amazing as you and for that I mean just because I have a brother scan and cut does not mean I stop getting punches so I always have lots of punches to use and this is called the pretty label punch that's this punch here that I used for the sentiment which was stamped in call me clover and I used the scallop tag topper punch which I always bring to all my workshops and you know craft club and everything making bookmarks out of this it's indestructible it's lasted me for many years and then this is um, called the decorative trio punch and that's how you can round the corners of things I'm not even sure what you do with that hole but um, there's the corner that I always use okay to put on the bottom of bookmarks all right so there's that now a few more projects to show you okay with this with this happiness blooms designer series paper so you may know that I always make nuggets right I always make Hershey nugget treats so here's Hershey nugget treats with that designer series paper and then for the tray you always put you should always put like first of all your contact information because people might you know you give, even if you give them as a gift they might go oh cool I want some more of those and then they order them okay Hershey nuggets I always write that it contains nuts on my little labels okay and so for this paper I use some some of this you know in color papers because pineapple punch and lovely lipstick are our in colors so that's what I use for the topper and the tray and then I use the happiness blooms designer series paper to wrap the nuggets again I cut the nugget wrappers out of my brother scan and cut and there are some little embellishments from the brother scan and cut and I could have even used the bone folder to curl up the corners of this flower here that would have looked really nice all right so there's that and then um, this is a sentiment that I stamped with a happy birthday set I had and so I stamped the sentiment and then I made an outline distance and stamped that so that's using the brother scan and cut and then lastly I made this cute little box and this just took me like literally two minutes to make using what's called the um, one two three punch board by we are memory keepers now you could do this also with your envelope punch board by stamping up but I just found like this one is like a no-brainer so I'll have a link to this in the description you know this exact one because it's just like oh you're making a box use the pink and I can show you on a video how to make boxes in like two minutes if you want if you're interested in that but let me open this box and show you so here's my again brother scan and cut to cut out the sentiment to cut out the outline to cut out the flowers to cut out the topper and then what I do is I don't really cover the whole top of the box because I want them to be able to open it but it doesn't really matter if they rip it open because it's just a candy box right and these are like um, these little boxes are called like explosion boxes meaning they when you make them they come out in one piece okay let me just stand above this because if not with my reading glasses it's on yellow so I can't really see it and I might rip it but that's okay because I told you I can make a box in two minutes and I did not rip it okay these little notches are come with the box maker it makes you make little notches okay and then that's what I mean by explosion box like it just one piece and it kind of explodes open see how cool is that and so there's a few little wrapped nuggets and and then the box just it's all cut and scored for you and you just fold it up so I'm actually making this at my workshop so I always I had to make some samples for for my students anyway and I did take I did do I have one that with a different color with I'm doing this with the butterfly suite that is in the occasions catalog but here's just to show you what an envelope I mean what a box looks like before you fold it up because the little box maker the one two three punch board makes all the little notches for you that you could possibly need all right so thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you have a brother scan and cut there's there's loads of video playlist on how to use this uh, incredible incredible machine which I you know can't live without as a crafter so until next time <laughs> happy crafting